Free motion machine quilting is one of my absolute favorite things to teach all of you, and today we're working on a daisy chain. Let's get started. The daisy chain is a really fun and easy free motion quilting design that you can use to fill in a lot of wide open space or just travel from motif to motif. Now, in the description below, we've got a wonderful printout for you. And if you look close, these little hash marks here are the direction in which you would be stitching. However, you can go anywhere you want with this kind of a motif, right? I'll show you in a minute on the machine as well, but as you're gonna follow into the chain, you're just gonna create your loops. And I usually work my loops around back to where I started and then I continue to move on in the direction which I need to head. Here you see it in the quilt itself. Um, the petals themselves are all organic and uh, unique in shape, especially that one, right? I think I might've hit the side of my machine while I was doing it, but they're just fun. It's an easy motif to work through. So let me see if I can't teach you how to do it here on my little sample and then we'll bring in the big man sampler quilt and we'll do some of this on a large quilt so you can see. Remember, one of my favorite concepts is something I learned from my friend Angela Walters and that is simply this. When you're machine quilting, you're only machine quilting what is in your little director's window. You don't need to worry about the whole quilt. So I love to quilt on my giant quilt, these small designs, so you can see that I'm only still quilting in a small little area. I've got my machinger's gloves almost on. These have got a nice sticky fingertip and that helps me control my quilt. Don't have to grab too tight. And then again, of course, I have the sew slip mat on the bed of my machine, which is a um, Teflon topper. So basically it makes everything flow very nicely. It's like having an ice skating rink on my sewing machine. Now, normally we start in the middle of the project, but because I'm doing a chain, I'm gonna start down here in a corner and run it for us and I'm gonna make sure that we're all dialed in. So my presser foot's down. I'm gonna take a single stroke here to bring up my bobbin tail and I'd use my thread gutter so you could see it in the camera there for a moment, it popped through. It's up, but it's stuck on the back of the quilt. So we're just gonna get started. I'll take a few stitches here to lock it in, however. That's another nice trick with that. And we're gonna just start by getting a little distance so we can cut this thread. So we're just gonna come up here a little ways. And reminder, if you're doing free motion for some of the first time, you're in charge of all your stitch length and stitch width. So just try to keep a nice uh, steady pace. And uh, with every stitch, we all improve, I believe. So here we go. I'm gonna come up here. And now I'm gonna start into one of my pedals and I can do a pedal that comes back to the center. Or I could have done a pedal that goes the opposite direction. It really is what's most comfortable for your body. You can see I jumped to the other side of the stem that way. And then look, I'm coming right through those pedals. And now you can see I've got some room to work again. I never took the time to count out those pedals. I'm just basically making a design. I'm heading towards the safety pin up here, which makes me nervous. So I'm just gonna take it out of the way. I don't quilt too close to those pins. I don't wanna have problems. And I like to have that stem that joins the two of them have a little bit of character. So I'm often making those curve designs. And then you're just gonna put your pedal in. Try not to make them arc too much the same. You see how they were all kind of curving right like that? If I do that, then I've got to bring them back around. You can also use that to escape this way. So you can see with the chain this time, instead of coming back through the center of the daisy itself, I came out the same area I entered in so I could head in a new direction. And these are, like I said, great designs for filling in space and traveling from a spot to a spot in your quilt. This time we're gonna go back out the center and keep on moving. So again, a very, very easy motif, but let me show you it practically and the big quilt, right? So we'll just leave that right there so you can see it. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know a lot of times I like to just mark with basically words. So originally I had in this section that I was gonna do my daisy chain through these blocks right here. So let's have some fun with this and see if we can dodge this little dark strip as we bring it in. And you can see this is a monster of a quilt, right? We call this the man sampler and we've been using it for all of our fun motifs. But when I slide this under the needle, I'm only gonna worry about those few squares. One of the tricks that helps though, this is something a long time ago, a friend of mine, Paula Reed said to me, just keep fluffing and stuffing, fluffing and stuffing your quilt. So you fluff it up, 
and you kind of stuff it back in. And the nice thing about that is it keeps this kind of loose and easy to move with your hands. And I did just use that thread cutter again. I just remembering that. So I'm going to have a hard time grabbing that stitch. So I'm going to tie it in this way. And now we're going to begin our daisy chain. Now, because I'm in a smaller area, I'm going to do a smaller motif. Avoiding that fun charcoal gray strip there. Now coming down here. I'm going to get to a spot where I need to move my hand. So I'm going to stop, leave that needle in the down position, and then I'm going to come back around this way. Work myself up against a little bit of a corner, but that's okay because look, it still works as a fun design. Come out here, bring that daisy back in. So again, you can go both directions. Try not to make them look exactly the same so they have fun, unique design to them. Need to move my hand again, so I'm gonna stop, bring it over here. Hey, let's crank up the music and have some fun here. I'm gonna do a few more of these motifs you enjoy. Are you still watching there? Well, I'm so glad you are. As you know, I love doing these designs and motifs and I love hearing from you in the comments below. So please let me know what you still want me to show you and we'll catch you right here next time at Man Sewing. Mm -hmm. 